Hello, this is a video aimed for the Year 10s that are going into Year 11s. The purpose of the video is to try and help you figure out how you can develop your artwork and lead it towards a final piece. To keep it really simple, I would simplify it into two ways of getting started. From a sub-theme or from artist research. Developing ideas from a sub-theme. A sub-theme is anything that fits within the overarching theme of forms. So this could pretty much be anything. It could be a local landscape, it could be pets, it could be family members, it could be still life objects. It's entirely up to you what you start with. So these next slides are my own photography and paintings. I like to go out and about and actually paint in the flesh. I'll use wax crayons and paints and mixed media and, um, and I quite enjoy doing it. I sometimes map out the initial design and then I'll have paint on the other page like this and then I will build up the layers until I'm happy. So once you have your sub theme it's a really good idea to start producing experiments. One way of doing this is through a design sheet. This is where you write down a lot of rules and regulations that will help guide your experimentation. For those who came in over the last few weeks to do the art day at school, you were doing a design sheet based on Langerstein's. For those who weren't able to come in, I've got the demonstrations recorded here, so if you want to have a go, you can. Also, if you'd like to, you could use the same set of rules, but use it to your own theme. The first experiment was a no-look drawing. This is where you do not look down at your paper at all and all you do is you keep your eyes fixed on the object that you are drawing. A no-look drawing is actually very good at getting you to improve your observational skills. The second experiment that we had a go at was to do a one line drawing. This is where you keep your pen on the page and you do not take it off. This will create a very unusual but quite a stylized way of drawing. Once we'd finished the initial one line drawing we were able to go back in and enlarge some of the lines that we felt were more important. The third drawing was another one line drawing, but this time once we'd completed our one line drawing we were able to go in and add tones using dots. The closer the dots are together, the darker the tone will look. Experiment number four was a broken line drawing. This is where your lines do not quite join, you leave gaps in between. Once we'd completed this broken line drawing, we were able to go in with highlights with a white crayon. The fifth experiment was to do a broken line drawing, mark making and go back into it with collage using materials that we used as backgrounds for the first experiments. We then finished the day by creating our own designs based on some inspiration from an artist called Patrick Heron.
So I mentioned at the beginning of this video that another way that you can get started is through artist research. I thought the best way to show you how to do this is by looking at this top sketchbook from several years back now. This student has looked at Art Nouveau as a starting point and then she's developed from there. She's brought her own photos into it and then she's gone on to do drawings and designs, mixed media and the idea is that she keeps on bringing back the idea of Art Nouveau and mixes it up together. So I'll leave you to have a look through this um, as a way of how you can develop from artist research.